Alright guys, so um, as promised, I made a League of Legends video. Um, basically, uh, knowing that, you know, preseason's been out for a little bit, and I've been having a, like a little bit of a chance to uh, mess around and kind of like theory craft with all the other stuff, I just thought I'd give my little input in a like, kind of like an AD carry centered video. Um, I did kind of branch out and talk about other stuff, but mostly it was just like a, you know, casual 1v1 with my cousin. Uh, Sean who I play a lot with and uh, yeah I just thought that we would provide like a 1v1 like kind of a mostly solo commentary but he definitely is there to you know have fun and we're just kind of like messing around while talking and mostly just creating a video about what we really think about the current state of League of Legends um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, yeah let's get started alright guys um, so Sean and I are playing a 1v1 um, I'm actually, I'm having trouble filming it right now. Something like happened, it keeps tabbing out. So hopefully, hopefully it works out later. But anyway, I just got first blood. <laughs> um, actually, I haven't played Vayne in a long time, so I don't even know what to max. Is it still W? Or do you max Q? I think it's, I think you max Q if you have a BF sword first. So actually I made a mistake. And then you're supposed to max a W if you're going, if you're going the attack speed route. So, yeah, I made a mistake there. Also, I kind of want to talk about um, AD items lately. Uh, what's it called? The new zeal is really overpowered to me. And, like, to me, when I saw it, I was a little taken aback by how strong it is. So it's 15% attack speed, 20% crit. I think it used to be 10% before. And now it's like really strong to the point where getting a zeal with essence reaver gives you 30% cooldown reduction. And top of that, it gives you movement speed, attack speed, and it's just made things like <clears throat> like Graves and Lucian really OP. Uh, Lucian especially, especially if you get like the Trinity Force that now has cooldown reduction also, like even Trinity Force has cooldown reduction just like all the other AD items, that you can have 40% CDR by just getting Essence Reaver, Trinity Force, and then you can focus on building other stuff. And I just remember, like, back in the day, um, if you wanted cooldown reduction, you kind of had to build towards it. And now it's kind of like, it just comes with everything. It's like the League of CDR. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, for sure, I really don't. Um, yeah, so anyway, I knew what, I knew the timing on that, uh, the health relic, so I knew that was gonna pop up the moment I did that, but, um, yeah, the, if you guys don't know, the health relic spawn at 310, 3 minutes, 10 seconds, and, yeah, it's just, it's good common knowledge if you're 1v1ing, uh, ah, oh, I didn't know he was gonna tumble into me, shoot, auto, there you go. Alright, but yeah, like, 40% CDR is, like, something that's just, like, normal now, and it's kind of like we're playing, like, a mini version of Earth. So I think definitely R R Frito, as I like to call them now, they used to be Dorito, but then, you know, now they're Frito. Um, yeah, like, they used to make, like, CDR mostly, like, a AD caster, but, like, if you wanted it as an AD caster, you had to, like, intentionally build into it. But now, like, you can just get it for free. Um, I kind of liked having to build for it, though, because it was a little more strategic in building. Um, now you can pretty much build anything, and you get 40% CDR. Like, almost to the point where, like, you almost have 80% CDR, on, and you're not even trying for it at this point. Um, also, what's up with the... One thing I kind of dislike is the... Uh, Well, I just ulted for no reason. Ah, oh, I missed my E. Okay. I missed my E. I pushed it like three times, but he was just out of range. But, what's up with, um, Infinity Edge? Used to be, like, the number one item. And now you get the 65% attack damage, or 65 attack damage, and the 25% or the 20% crit by just getting Essence Reaver. Plus you also get CDR, plus 20% CDR, 
plus maximum mana, like, you get mana back. So, I feel like even though Essence Reaver is not legit, I feel like it's more of a first item now because it has so much utility. Whereas, like, Infinity Edge is kind of like that thing that you get late game. Like, it used to be back in, like, back in, like, Season 2, Season 3. So, I think definitely making Infinity Edge not a first item anymore is kind of better. Because it made the bot lane a little too snowbally if one got the Infinity Edge over the other. And so, yeah, I think that is a good change. Uh, I do think Essence Reaver is a little too overloaded, though. It's a good tool for ADCs, but it's so, like, such a big um, advantage that you can just go Essence Reaver Jax with, like, Trinity Force, and you can be, like, ridiculously strong. Because you won't be mana hungry. Um, you won't. You get the crit, you get the cooldown. It's basically every bruiser's dream. And. I don't know, it's just it, all in one item. I feel like it's too much. Uh, they did counter it by raising the price, but I don't know. Even for the price, it's still pretty good. Like, how much is Infinity Edge total? Uh, wait, let me check this real quick. It's 300. 3,600. Yeah. And then Essence Reaver is also 3,600, which makes no sense because it has way more value than Infinity Edge. So I think, like, maybe they hopefully, like, lower the cost of Infinity Edge or just increase the cost of Essence Reaver. So then, like, at least ADCs can be a little more creative because, like, people like Vayne or... I don't know why I got Essence Reaver on Vayne, but people like Vayne and... Um, Caitlyn and all the older ADCs, they don't really need that cooldown reduction, so I don't really know why it's, like, exactly necessary. Um, so every time you get Essence Reaver, you probably want to branch out into the, uh, Zeal. And then from that Zeal, you can branch that out into a Trinity Force if you're going, like, a casting ADC, or just go the classic Static Shiv, because Static Shiv is really strong right now, too. Um, I definitely think that it actually opens up a kind of a Triforce meta again, which is kind of cool because I think stuff like Triforce Vayne can come back and have a chance in the meta. Even though right now Vayne's are getting a lot of static shivs, uh, I think Triforce Vayne was one of the more fun Vayne builds. Especially if you're like, um, yeah. Especially when you're critting like that, like yeah, it's that crazy. Essence Reaver is just, yeah. Like, I don't know why they gave the crit chance. That's just, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, and then also, before it used to be, like, all about lifesteal, where, like, you had have, like, you could have the Blade of the Ruin King, um, Bloodthirster, Essence Reaver, or, you know, like, another lifesteal item. And now it kind of seems like where, like, Bloodthirster used to have 20% lifesteal and stuff. Now it just kind of seems like lifesteal is kind of like an old thing that no one really buys anymore. And it's more about burstiness with crits. So it's like, it's kind of like what R Rido, Rito, Frito, whatever, Dorito, I don't even know. It's kind of like what they were talking about, how ADCs are going to be less glass cannon. And I think what they mean by that is like, they're going to have a lot less to sustainability. And instead of sus like trading your life steal away for a crit is I think a good trade off. Because then you can burst out like other squishies, and then you can also. The only thing is, team fighting with the new ADC, like if you don't have life still, can sometimes be really challenging, especially if you're behind. Because people are the tanks are just gonna wreck you, like champions like Volley Bear that just burst you really fast, and are tanky enough to sustain your burst, are champions that are really rising up in the meta right now. Um, so I definitely think they should be careful in how much emphasis they put on burst because then other champions might just like prove to be too strong for the AD carries at the current moment. Uh, I know one champion that's really OP is Jax with uh, Rage Blade, Trinity Force. I don't even, I, they might have done something to Rage Blade, I should really check. Um, but stuff like that is getting really, oh shoot, oh, uh, but stop, okay. Uh, Oh, I auto attack the inhibitor. Nice, dude. That that crit is so strong. I know. Uh, it's only twenty percent, but it makes such a big difference. 
And then uh, you get like the zeal with the static shiv. Or I'm gonna try Trinity Force Vein if I die. Um, yeah, if I die, maybe I'll get Trinity Force. See how it works. But I think overall, um, I actually do like the changes. Um, it's better than what we had the previous season. So in that regard, it's pretty good. I just wish that AD carries were a little more like you had a little more variety in pathing. Even though they made more items, it seems like you're kind of confined to buying Essence Reaver on almost every character just because of how broken Essence Reaver is right now. And, um, you know, like, trying to be creative and going, like, Bloodthirster or Infinity Edge first is kind of, like, kind of a thing of the past. I don't think they really changed Bloodthirster any... Yeah, they didn't really change it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's the same. I think they raised the price, though, right? I think Bloodthirster was 3500 which I don't understand why you would, why you would raise the price of it. I do like how they increase the cost of Berserkers, but then they gave it more attack speed. So I mean that's that's a good trade off I think, because if everyone's gonna buy it, um, you might as well like make it I don't know as balanced as you can. Uh, Vayne's passive is pretty broken, especially when you're chasing someone down. Oh, and the crit. Um, hmm. See, is there anything else I want to talk about? Oh, yes. Um, I think Yomu's is probably going to get nerfed pretty soon. That uh, Yomu's is pretty strong. The stats on it is like... You know, let me let me check this out real quick. Um, Yomu's stats. So, it has as much damage as Infinity Edge for 400 less. It also has the cooldown reduction I was talking about, armor pen, and you have the active that it's known for. And I think that's, yeah, like, it just, with all these uh, item buffs and new items coming in, I feel like items that we all know and love, like, all AD carry mains love and, you know, used to always buy and, like, used to be our old reliable item is kind of like a thing of the past. So that's kind of sad in a way. But, you know, we have to move on. We have to adjust to the new items. And I think, like, hopefully they'll readjust our favorite items so we can still have our old reliable Infinity Edge and our, you know, our handy-dandy bloodthirster at our side in battle. I think they should also um, buff Blade of the Ruined King. The Blade of the Ruined King nerfs are really bad. As you can see by the Essence Reaver just to the Essence Reaver vein totally tramping the blood uh, Blade of the Ruined King vein. So if you want to play vein, don't get, don't get Blade of the Ruined King. It's really bad right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on that. And, yeah, they're probably going to... A lot of these items will be nerfed, sadly. Um, but, hopefully, in replace of that, they'll buff some of our favorite items. And that, that'd be cool, for sure. Anyway, guys, sorry for the short video. Um, kind of just me talking. Sean, would you like to say something before I end the video? I'm back. Alright, well, anyway, guys, you heard it from him himself. Uh, if you guys want to play with us, just friend us on League. And, uh, yeah, that should be all for today. Um, this is actually going to be posted on Thanksgiving Day, I think. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and kind of just address what you want to see in upcoming videos. Did you like what I did today? Would you like to see this more often than, like, kind of playing with like a group of people do you want to see a group of people um basically just kind of request what you want to see i definitely um would love to get your input on this but uh i guess that concludes the video and i want to wish you guys happy holidays and a happy thanksgiving and enjoy the weekend